So, do you want to just sort of make something up, or do you want to write some ideas down so that you've got some words, or what do you what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. It's up to you just as much as it's up to me. So it's sort of a 50-50 here. Mm -hmm. Mm. I suppose the what's the word? I should at least have a theme or a title or something. Yeah, I agree. Um, I'll just grab a pen. The hardest thing for me at the moment, I think, is um, reasoning through behaviour that's obviously to do with comprehension. Mm. Like you get you get reactions sometimes that are, are, are so disingenuous because I think the person. Can you order more? What? Who is this from? Oh, two years ago. Yeah, that's why. Um, because I think um, the normal the normal interaction between people, if it was to say to do something nice for them, right, would be like that only operates under the assumption that you would you need something. Like, you, you, you would only be doing something nice for somebody if you, you needed something from them. And I understand that in the current world, but mm -hmm. it's, it, it's just, it just makes you sad. Like it's manipulative if you're doing that just to get something back. That's what I mean. Like, it, it makes you sad if you're just wanting to interact and just for the sake of interacting. Mm -hmm. Or you're just wanting to give someone a present or, or, or do something nice with them or say something nice to them just for the sake of doing that. Like, that is the exchange itself. Mm. It's not about the goal. It's not that there even is a goal. It's just that that's what we're so disconnected from is that if you really think someone's really special, why can't you tell them that without there being this nature of a... Of a sort of hidden agenda. Yeah, or like a, like a, a goal in, in like buried into that exchange. Like it has to be because you like them or you're attracted to them or you want to marry them or you... It's just... It's sort of madness. But we, but we do it. We, you know, you, you go... In terms of survival wise, it makes sense because you want to be, you want to be safe. Yeah. So if somebody's approaching you with sort of horn rimmed glasses and a big cheesy grin, kind of going, "Oh, you're wonderful." You kind of going, "What's what's the what's, yeah. what's the story? What's the hidden agenda?" Well, I got caught like that in America with a guy. He was really friendly, chatting. He was Australian, I was Australian, and we chat, chat, chat. And then he says, sort of, "Come around, comes around, and it's bloody flogging us to yeah. Amway." Yeah, that's right. So I'm so kind of angry I'm, at that because it was just a It's con. so deceitful, yeah. And you feel, what if this guy's a bloody serial killer? Well, that's right. Sucked in, you know? Probably wouldn't be that far from it, to be honest with you. Um, Here's a few words. But I think, like, I, do, I mean, I understand it from the person's point of view that's having the exchange of going, I don't know, I don't know how comfortable I should be about this because it, there must be something to this. Mm -hmm. Because, but it, what I'm, all I'm trying to express is that I've just had this sort of feeling of sadness that you can't just have a pleasant exchange with someone for the sake of the exchange. Mm. There ha there's this thing in our society, and I do think this is to do with currency, just to say that again, but there's this thing built in that's sort of like, if you are exchanging with someone in a pleasant way, inevitably there will be a cost. Like, inevitably at the end of the exchange, they'll be like, so you want to go out? Or so you want to have sex? Or so mm. can you buy some of my shit from me? Or, or something I like that? I suppose the exception would be really good friends and family. Yeah, so some of the time, at that's, least. that's right. So there's a, there's a trust built into it. Mm. But it just... I'm not sure. Maybe, it's, maybe that's, the, that's the tether, that, that fine detail, with it when it's like um, an acquaintance, let's say. Mm. Someone who is... Um, operating on a maybe a professional sphere um, and their thoughts are like uh, the work is good but I don't want a relationship with this person mm -hmm. but th there's this very fine line between those two things and maybe maybe it's this maybe I'm maybe maybe it's a maturity thing of going it might be very difficult for people to actually disconnect like that so maybe it's actually not what I'm thinking it's the inverse of it it's not that they're not connected to their emotions it's that they are, but they're not connected enough to go, I'm okay with these feelings. Mm. For instance, um, if you were to be exchanging with um, someone who made you feel arousal because of whatever reason, maybe they're very intellectual, maybe they see things from a similar perspective to you, mm. it's okay to feel that mm. because you also know if you're connected to your feelings that you're not going to 
No. Action. They're going to be acting on it. You know what I mean? But it's also okay to acknowledge the fact that you might find someone very interesting and very attractive like that. I mean, there's so many people in the world. You can't honestly kind of go... You, you, you can and should go, I think there is one person for me mm. that I love. But you can't just go... That, there's, that means there's no other people in the world that are interesting no, no. enough that would excite me in the same way. Because it's madness. If you think there's... Well, if you think about those dating sites, basically, there's probably, in a population of a million people, there's probably a hundred that would be a pretty good match for you. Yeah. And then within that hundred, there's probably 50 who are an even better match and so on down. So you might find that there's maybe three or four who would be fantastic. Mm. They'd be different and maybe appeal to different parts. But then it's reciprocal as well. You have to also appeal to them. That's right. And that, I guess that's why the, you know, we, we enjoy inv- indulging ourselves in romantic movies. Yeah. Because it's the expression of that, that what's the word, that, um, that rarity... Because it, it is really rare. I mean, if you think really back in your life about the relationships that you've had that didn't work, mm. and you go, but all the pieces were there, but they mm. just it just didn't work. Mm. You know, the person was like this, and we had this in common, and we used to do this together and whatever. Yeah. But there was just not this, there was this missing piece. And if you think about how many you've had, and say it's like three or four or five or whatever, and you look at the statistics of the one in five, and you're going, I mean, yeah, it is really quite special mm. isn't it when you if you do end up with someone that you really connect with that's what I put in that song I wrote about you know, kiss some frogs before that prince comes riding into town yeah <laughs> right so this is your kind of stuff trance states altered consciousness sleep and dreaming what's the last one making to a raw dra- dawn making to a new dawn waking waking to a new dawn oh, no. oh okay I like that but, yeah Pictures are there. Okay. I'm feeling. I'm kind of thinking of Cher for some reason. Like that movie I wrote about the being in disjointed sort of. Um, hang on, I'll just turn the volume off on the computer too, because if I get a message, it'll go ding. Because you often, you often have these songs where you go from uh, waking and sleeping. Mm. And, uh, that's probably why. Just, it to me. just move Christy's face, and then I'll close this thing. I don't think I need the. I don't think I need this anymore. I mean, none of us need a phone, but... No, but we have them. Uh, actually, how do I turn the... There we go. Yeah, that was, just, that was an interesting exchange. Okay, so dreams. Oh, let's see. I suppose... So we're going to pick a minor key, maybe? What's the minor... Uh, a flat, I think. A flat. Mm. Of course, but 
but I guess we could do something like just A, a to F again. Like. Because I think cause you, you suggested the um, waking, dreaming thing. So I'm wondering if that, that's the minor major flip, is that you've got this sort of the, the dream and then the, the waking. So it's like you're down in the down in down and asleep and then up to the waking up bit. I'm glad we're recording this too because I know Aiden will find it's really interesting to actually hear the process of the song kind of coming together from starting from basically nothing. Is that right? Um, EGB bit, yeah, yeah, and then um, for the blue stole your pen. <laughs> He's a good lad, isn't he? He just he just happy to have right there where I've like, tread on him. But, uh, um, and what was the chorus? Just that to that. I think. No, this this to this. Like so mine mine a mine a major so that it's sort of. Some themes and then yeah, so let's have a look. Dark in here. We have a I'll put that one on, but I won't put that one on because that sort of oh, make, makes it's just I don't know. It's no, it's just really ugly. So oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sitting at the piano going, mm, I don't know about this line. Mm. Um,